G'day everyone, Uncle Jojo, Warm Jigger, to another Rip Roaring episode. Today, I am so excited, we've got the Efficiency Matrix, John, coming on down to pressure test one of our house. G'day Johnny. Hey mate. Pleasure to meet you. you? Thank you very much for coming in. Tell me about Efficiency Matrix and what you guys do. So we do air tightness testing. Yep. We also document um, insulation consistency issues within the building yep. to enable the, the building shell or the building envelope to perform as best as it can for heating and cooling. Right. And energy that leaks out of that. Yeah, so energy that leaks out either via thermal bridging or air leakage. Insulation consistency is, yep. is king. Yep. Uh, and then obviously you combine that air tightness yep. and then start introducing some, some good ventilation strategies. Right. You then start to have a much better, higher performing building yep. where you have a longer lasting building as well. Yeah, right. Uh, you do not just domestic though, you also do commercial, don't right, you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what are you doing commercial? Because obviously when we're talking commercial, sometimes there's homes down, sorry, homes up the top and there's buildings for um, occupation or work underneath. So how do you go about pressure testing those kind of areas? Um, so in commercial buildings, yeah. you do the whole building. You do the building envelope. Oh, the whole building is you an envelope. You have to always wow. do the building envelope. That's how great. long does that take? Not long. It's just okay. more, more equipment, more yeah. air flows. Okay. So yeah, but it's important that when you do test any building, yep. that you're testing the thermal building envelope, which okay. also has the air barrier as well. Yep. Right. Are you finding over the time that you've been doing this, how long have you been doing this for? I mean, the company's been operating for around about 10 years now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And are you finding homes are getting better? Uh, yeah, the newer homes, some of them are getting quite airtight. Yep. Yeah, they, yep. Can, they can be. Okay. So uh, what are we doing here today? You're pressure testing this house. This yep. is uh, about 109 no, sorry. Yeah, about 119 years old. Wow. So what are we checking for? Obviously, when homes 119 years ago, 120 years ago, they really leaked energy. Yep. Um, but the walls didn't sweat and things like that. There was no leaky home syndrome. Whereas now with all of the sealing up, the, the papers and everything that we're getting, if we're not understanding the way that the new technologies and the old technologies work, we get some problems with it. How are we going about turning old homes into new energy efficient homes? It's one of those things that really, the, the, the best way to build is to build with um, passive house principles, which yeah, right. is um, yeah, moving forward with good, good uh, details in your wall systems yeah, and obviously right. your roof and yeah. ceiling. And understanding the different orientations of it and all that kind of stuff. That's solar passive, completely different. Oh, so, oh, okay. Solar so passive. solar passive is basically what I kind of do. So that's really interesting that you say that. So solar passive is a technology that people have been using for hundreds, if not thousands of years. Yep. Whereas this is a very new system, this passive house system. When you've got a home or a building yep. that is um, working well yep. uh, with passive house principles or to, a, to that standard, what energy you can introduce from solar passive design mm -hmm. means that it almost doesn't need any energy to operate. Yeah, okay, awesome town, that's amazing. So today we're pressure testing the house. So we seal up the front. Yep. Yep, and we blow air in. Correct. Yep, talk to me about that. And then okay. we find out. So, so yeah, we retrofit a blower door to the front of the house and yep. it, it with the equipment that we put there, with that fan and a manometer, we measure the pressure differential between inside and outside. Yep. We've also got some measurements that we take inside the fan. Yep. So we can measure how much air is flowing into the building, which yep. means then we can sort of also get an idea of how big the holes are to allow that right. air to go into the building. Okay, yep, mm. yep. Can you suggest then changes? Once you've tested all of that in a domestic home, can then you just suggest some changes that somebody could make to make their home more efficient? So th there are some key areas within homes, whether they be old or new, where they leak quite a lot of air, mm -hmm. um, or they may have a lack of insulation right. uh, being installed. Is uh, that where you can vary depending on the house? Right. So you were walking around before with the uh, thermal imaging camera. Mm -hmm. That is super cool. You have to check out the thermal imaging well, camera. Why don't we just do that now? Oh, all right. Come with us and check it. Check check this stuff out. This right. is an existing area and we insulated the ceiling, yep. sorry, the roof from outside. We yep. pulled the roof off and put the new roof on. Yeah, gotcha. So you can clearly see just in this corner, this is existing, yeah. so where it looks, like, it looks like there is a bat here and yep. it stops there. Yeah, right. Now the other thing that I think we we're, were picking out with yourself and I was in these little corners here, right? Oh, wow. Where yep. they're sort of missing yep. some insulation here. Yep. Let's check out some other spots. 
So that's an old section of the home. Nobody yep. actually touched that. Yep. So just in here. Yep. You can see also that there's. Oh wow! Look at that. This section of the home mm. hasn't got any eaves. Well, you were just showing before mm. above mm. here, mm. and no insulation in that corner. Mm. Is that a problem that you find often with the new homes with no eaves, and they usually have a metal fascia or yeah, something like that? Yeah, there's not much room, is there, for no. insulation? Yeah, it no. is a common issue. Yeah, yeah, yep. it is. So what I really encourage is to actually put insulation inside the eave, mm -hmm. so it extends past just the mm -hmm. envelope. Mm -hmm. It actually extends past that. Totally. Yeah, it's a good idea. You can clearly see the sun. Oh, wow. Mm. Can you see that? Yeah, there's a ghost in the house. <laughs> so what we might do now is actually, we'll, we'll put this building under pressure. Sure. And, um, and then we'll do some thermal imaging with that and you'll be able to see the effect of air leakage Browse. through the holes too. Awesome. So we're getting, we're getting leakage here um, on the side here as well. Wow, look at that. Line. Okay, so we're, we've got a wall junction. So we found yeah. that before, and then we've got a junction where the, the door, the attic ladder goes through, yep. and that's also got some air leakage around yeah. it. So that's where I put foam around a lot of my things, right, like okay. the windows and doors. Yeah. Could we actually check that? Where? Around a window or a door where the foam is. So... Oh, wow, look at that. Straight above it. Straight above. Yeah. It's got air leaking there. You know, it's a, it's a significant volume of air. Yep. And I'm not sure about the bottom, but we'll just go in here now. See what we can see here. The fan. Exactly. Fans always leak, but it's not that it's bad. It's a draft stopper, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yep. yep. Well, let's go and have a look at that internal cavity slider. Oh, yeah. You were saying this before. Pretty good. These are a very common issue. Oh, so right. Uncle Jojo actually didn't make an issue out of this one. <laughs> so you'll be at the leakage at the bottom yep. of the skirt. Yep. So you'll be able to feel that very easily. Just put your hand out now. Oh yeah. You can feel it. You can yep. feel it running through there. Yep. yep. So, the old so every house has one mm. of these. It has a ducted heating system. This is yep. called an air return. Yep. So talk to me about this. So one of the key areas that we find in a lot of homes yep. that leak, and it's the worst place to leak because this is always induced under a pressure when right. you're running the ducted heating system, yep. is that these leak into internal wall cavities. Yeah, right. So Benji, can you run the blower door? Mm -hmm. Before you do that baseline. So if you put your hands just on the sides here, you'll feel quite a bit of air oh, moving wow. through. Oh, wow! And that's between the wall cavities. So yep. our old school system is that we would be able to run our floorboard up to the wall and mm. leave an expansion gap. Yep. Whereas our new floors, they run all the way through and then we build our walls on top of that. Yep. So that's a huge energy leak. Fireplaces. Yeah, I'm talk joking. to me about the fireplace. Well, you can tell this one's not being used, right? No, yep, not at all. Well, it leaks a lot. I didn't realize that until I came near it and you can actually cool yourself down around yeah, it. Yeah. That is full on. And obviously also being cast iron, that mm. retains the cool air. Mm. So that's actually pumping out cold mm. or no fires in there. So what can we do about that? Because we're losing a lot of energy. You really need to be able to cap them off when yep. they're not being used. Yep. Because they're just a big chimney in the building envelope, similar to evaporative cooling, to be honest. Yes, okay. They're just big chimneys in every single room. Yeah, right, okay. Mm. So your corner insulation is something that really needs to be yep. paid attention to. Yep. So when we're doing an old home, mm -hmm. we've got to try and stitch in wherever we can. Mm. But what you were saying to me is even if we try to foam fill those, that's the best kind of way to yeah, 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 get you around. Can do that. Absolutely, yeah? Yeah. yeah. You can either before you start wrapping, you yep. put the insulation in beforehand. Yep. Yep. Or But if we can't get to that, yeah, then just use foam and fill afterwards. Yeah, yeah okay. There's yep. no problem with that. As long yep. as it doesn't get mixed. Yeah. Mixed. Yep. Yeah, grouse. That shows you how much air is moving through the building. I can Changes the gain to equivalent leakage area size. Yep. So the size of the hole in this building envelope is 3,000 meters, uh, centimeter square right. of hole. Wow. All combined. Right. So that's 30 centimeters by a meter. It's basically a window permanently open in the home. So our biggest weak point is really our chimneys. 
he, at the moment, yeah. yeah. It would seem that way. Yeah. But you know, all the other stuff will add up to quite a lot as well. Oh, agreed, agreed. I can see that. But what I'm saying is that uh, if we block up those chimneys, we could change that quite quickly and easily to about 10 rather than 16. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I think for an older home like this, being under 10, I think is a really good target to yeah. aim for. Yeah. Awesome. Especially when you don't have a centralised ventilation system. Yep, yeah. okay. But having said that, when it comes to ventilation yeah. in a home, yeah. By rights to the building code, th that's why every room needs an openable window. Yes. We should be opening, we should be using windows, especially if you're in a room yep. with the door closed. So right now, we're just taping up these fireplaces and then we're gonna redo the test just to quantify how much air from the 16 ACH that's leaking in this home is actually leaking from these fireplaces. I am super pumped to find out how we go pressure testing the home once these are sealed. What we're doing is we're pressure testing the whole house again. We're at 16 air changes an hour, ACH. What we've done is we've sealed up the chimneys and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna re-pressure test the house and see what we get to. Oh no. We're gonna have to tape up all the exhaust fans too. It's blowing out the draft stoppers. Have you got a ladder here? I'm pretty sure I can get to the one outside on this one. Safety first, do you need me to hold the fence? It's just me fat guts. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to seal up any of the draft stoppers. We put automatic draft stoppers on any of our external vents. So tell me, John, what have we found out today? Um, there's quite a few things you could do to potentially improve the air tightness yep. of this, this home. Yep. Um, this home seems to perform a lot differently in positive and negative. Yep. The fireplaces, even though you can feel that they leak, they're not that leaky. Yep. Your ducted heating system is a little bit leaky, yep. which isn't fantastic. Yep. Um, so these are all little things, like we found also mm. on the old vents over above mm. here. Mm. So it's not one thing, obviously. Mm. It's all of these little pieces it of all the puzzle, adds up. and they just create that really big leaky yeah. picture. Correct. Yeah. So you've got your insulation isn't too bad, especially in your area, which yep. is good for you. Thank you. Um, some of the older areas are pretty terrible, and yep. this old roof leaks yep. substantially, yeah. which is yep. pretty awesome. Yep. The, yep. The, the footage we got from that was pretty amazing. Yeah. But all in all, you know, there, there's room for improvement, I guess. Okay. So tell me, how do people get you on board mm -hmm. to have a look at their homes? Um, for new builds or... Both, for, whatever. You, yeah. yeah. So I guess just contact us okay. uh, on our website and then we, we, we can put together something that makes mm -hmm. sense for your build and your construct yeah, and right. how seriously you want to take building your home mm -hmm. uh, to... Um, Passive house principles, okay. um, which I think is always a great idea for the yep. longevity of the building, for the energy use, for your yep. comfort, for the air quality yep. uh, that you'll enjoy when, you know, as you, as you um, entertain yourself in your yeah. home. Yep. And how the house itself adapts to the future, uh, uses of it and all that kind of stuff. Totally. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much for joining us. I Pleasure. really appreciate your time and your effort mm -hmm. and your whole team. They've been fantastic. Mm. Any questions or queries about any of that, please flick it over for me and I'll answer it for you best I can whenever I can. Thanks for watching and like always, stay on real banana peel. I'll see you in the soup.